Hey, are you done with work? I just got done, so I'm heading back home. Hey you, yeah, I got done a while ago too. I'm just in the middle of cooking our dinner. Take a while, guess what I'm cooking? Mmm, mac and cheese? <laughs> no. Uh, hamburgers with fries? No. Uh, then the barbecue ribs with your onion rings. Oh man, I love those ribs. Is it the ribs? Yep. <laughs> ah, nice. My homemade crispy onion rings with the garlic and herb flavored batter. And the most succulent, juicy barbecue pork ribs you'll ever taste. <laughs> it's going to be so good. You'll get a good whiff of it as soon as you open the front door. <laughs> oh, nice. Yum. You're making me hungry already. I love you. Love you too. <laughs> I just got in a cab, so I should be back home in about 30 minutes. Okay, that's enough time to get the ribs going then. Nice. So hey, let's talk about the situation with the house then. You've got time while you wait for the ribs to cook, yeah? Yeah, just give me one sec. Okay, I'm good now. Nice. Uh, did you take a look at the link that I sent you earlier? The home builders, ever build construction. I think that's what they called. Yeah, I did. I like them. What do you think? Yeah, they seem legit. I like how they specialize in wooden housing construction. Because remember how I said I'd want our new home to have more of a natural woody feel to it? Yeah. I liked some of the model houses they posted in the image gallery section too. And they don't seem too pricey either. Awesome. So yeah, I like them too. Glad I already got a quote from them. Oh, you did? How much did it come to? But wait, we don't even know what kind of house we want to build. How did you manage to get a quote when we haven't decided on the design, etc? Well, I just wanted a rough estimate for the mortgage loan. I just thought it would be good to know how much we could possibly be paying. So I just chose some random options in their request form. Then I got a quote for that this morning. Oh, okay. Don't worry, nothing is set in stone yet. We can change the details later. Oh, okay then. Phew, that's good to know. Is it all within our budget? Yeah, at least for the code that I got. But obviously, the more details we add, the more it's going to cost us. So we just have to be really careful and selective in what we want to do with our new home. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt to check out other home builders too. They might give us a cheaper quote for the same design that we're looking for. Yeah, maybe. But either way, a duplex is going to cost more than a single family home. So we've got to manage our expectations for that. Wait, what? A duplex? What? Since when did we decide to get a duplex? I thought I told you. No, this is the first time I'm hearing about this. Alright, alright, calm down. I thought we were getting a single family home. You know, like the Cape Cod style? It totally slipped my mind, babe. I mean, look, this is probably the only chance we're going to get to build our own first home. And I just thought a duplex would be better. Yeah, okay, but why not a single family home? What do we need a duplex for? For mom and dad, of course. What? Since when were they going to live with us? And what about my parents then? Your parents are just fine where they live, aren't they? It's mine that has a problem with theirs. Their house isn't built for old folks like them. But we can customize everything, right? I thought we could add those grab bars in the bathroom so they don't slip and whatnot. What? That's not the point here. Why didn't you talk to me about this earlier? I never agreed to live with your mom and dad. My bad. <laughs> but you would be fine with it anyways, right? You like them and you get along with them, right? Don't be so mad. I do, but you're missing the point. I'm mad about the fact that you went ahead and decided to get a duplex to live with your parents without telling me about it. I'm going to be living with you too. You know that, right? Whoa, just relax. Jeez. So wait a sec. That quote you got from Everbuild Construction, is that a quote for a duplex then? Yeah, of course. I don't believe this. I don't get why you're so mad about this. You don't get it, do you? 
You're against living with my parents, is that it? No, not exactly no. I just wish you could have at least asked me what I thought about living with your mom and dad. You can't just go around making decisions for the both of us. What happened to deciding things together as a couple? Yeah, well, what happened to supporting both of our families together as a couple? No, it's not like I'm against supporting your parents. I'm not totally against living with them either. I just need time to think about it more. And I wish we could have discussed it more. That's what I'm saying. Well, we don't have time to discuss things in detail. The housing market is crazy. It takes months to find a good home builder and we finally found a good one. We need to get on it quickly instead of wasting time discussing it. Why are you being like this all of a sudden? Man, I don't want to get into this with you. Yeah, me too. I'm going to bed. I put your dinner on the table, just heat it up or whatever. Oh, is that what you're going to be like? Is it? I know you're reading my texts, Claudia. Claudia! Fine, be like that then. Hey, Claudia! Oh please, don't tell me that you're still mad at me. It's been days. Oh come on, don't be like this. I'm on my lunch break right now. I don't have the energy for this today. Yeah? Well, you never do. Can we talk about this later, please? Well, you never want to talk. So what else am I going to do besides keep texting you like this? Ignoring each other won't get us anywhere. Let's just get the duplex and be done with it. Problem solved. Yeah? Problem solved? Oh, please. You still don't get it, do you? Let's be clear about one thing here. Even if we do get a duplex, I'm going to have to cover the mortgage for that, aren't I? Let's be honest, I currently earn more than you do, don't I? So, it's my money you'll be spending. And if that's the case, then why don't you have the decency to at least tell me that you'd be spending it? Instead of just going ahead and making plans with my money without me. If this new home is somewhere we are both going to be living in, then why didn't you talk to me about things like this before making big decisions? That's what I don't get. OMG, not this again. Is that all you do? Complain? Ah, so annoying. Annoying? Ask anyone and they'll tell you you're the annoying one here. I can't be bothered to deal with this right now. That's what I said earlier. I told you I didn't have the energy to talk about this, so leave me alone. Jeez. Okay, okay. Look, I'm sorry, okay? How's that? You happy now? Oh, this is so you, Cedric. You don't even mean it when you say sorry. You just say it because you think you can settle the issue and get away with it. But you always just make things worse. You don't even know it, do you? Flipping hell. Are you telling me I'm not apologizing? No, but you just sound so insincere. I know for a fact you don't mean it. Well then, that's your problem, isn't it? Not mine. I'm not dealing with this today. Listen, I've decided to get a duplex. End of story, okay? Just because you earned a little more than me doesn't mean that you can go around being the boss of me. Got that? I'm the husband. I'm the head of the household and you're my wife. Got that? Oh my god, what is that supposed to mean? I never knew you'd be such a misogynist. What the? I'm just putting you in your place, woman. Oh wow, you're unbelievable. How can you still not get why I'm upset? I've told you so many times. I just wish you could have discussed our future plans with me. Which part of that don't you understand? It's not to do with how much we earn or anything. Yeah, whatever, Claudia. I know what you think of me and what you say behind my back. I know that you make fun of me behind my back all the time. Er, uh, no I don't. Why would I do that? No, I know you do, you cow. What? What's wrong with you? I know the way you think. I don't live up to your standards with my job. So you think you can disrespect me all you want? You think that I've got to listen to you since you earn more? This is not true at all. That's insane, Cedric. This is not what I think of you. Lies. What? No. And you never told me that this is the way you felt about me. 
I'm telling you, I don't think like that at all. You're my husband and I love you for you who you are, no matter what. Money has never had anything to do with the way I feel about you. I thought you knew that. Then why can't you just agree to get a duplex? If you want to show me that you love and respect me, then get the goddamn duplex and prove it to me. What? Are you being serious right now? What are you talking about? Sounds like you're telling me that you don't love me. Well, yeah. No. I mean, no. No, this is so confusing. What would getting a duplex have anything to do with showing you respect and love? Because it shows me that you would do anything for me. And that's real love, isn't it? Isn't it? Wow. Fine. I guess you don't love me anymore. That's fine. No. I never said that, Cedric. Then prove it. Fine. I want a divorce then. What? I want a divorce. Why would I want to be with a wife who doesn't respect me and my decisions? And what about wanting to take care of my parents? I take it you don't want to take care of them either now, huh? Great. This again? How many times do I have to tell you? No, just shut up. Duplex or divorce? You decide. Are you actually being serious? You're giving me an ultimatum between a duplex or you? Yup. You're insane. Which one is it then? You know what my answer is? Spell it out. Oh jeez, please. Say it then. Ugh. You, of course. Me? I don't think that you mean that. The duplex. I want you and the duplex. That's what will make you happy, then that's what I want as well. Happy now? Am I happy? Oh, what do you think? I'm not the one who's going to be in a load of bull by getting a divorce anyway. You are. And what's that supposed to mean? Well, like you said earlier, and the two of us, I'm the one that earns more. So without my income, how are you expecting to repay the mortgage on the new house? See, I'm not the one who needs you. You need me. Oh, shut it, you wench. How dare you talk to your own husband like that? You have a filthy mouth on you, you know that? You think you're all above me just because you earn more? That doesn't mean friggin' anything. I'll file for divorce if I want. Watch me. Fine. Be like that. Go ahead. I hope you got the copy of the divorce petition that I left on the kitchen table. Apparently, they can be filled in online, but I thought you might want a hard copy of it. So I went out and printed them out for you. Yes, I saw them. I can't believe you actually did that. And you even filled everything in? Yeah, I told you I would. But if you want me to change my mind about it, now's the time. I'm giving you one last chance, Claudia. That sounds like a threat. Well then, so what? No, you're right. I didn't think you would take it this far. I'm sorry. I don't want a divorce at all. I apologize for everything. Well, it looks like someone has come around after all. Well, that's my baby. I know you love me. Yeah, I do. And I really don't want a divorce. Not yet, anyway. Not yet? Sorry, I didn't mean that part. <laughs> okay. And... I'm sorry for not trying to understand you more. I know you just care for your parents like the good son that you are. Well, I'm glad you understand. Just make sure it doesn't happen again in the future. Because then, now you know that I will divorce you for good. Are we on the same page now? Yeah, I'll stop fussing over little things like this. It's not worth it. And yeah, I'd like to say that we are on the same page now. Am I forgiven? I'll let you off. <laughs> Just this once, okay? There won't be a next time. I understand. Thanks. So, will you be handling the whole design for the house and everything related to it then? I mean, the duplex. Yeah, I think it's for the best if I take over from here. Don't you? Sure. I think that's better too. Speaking of, if you're going to handle everything, then you're going to take care of the mortgage as well, right? What? Why do I need to take care of that? Well, don't you want the duplex to be under your name? Isn't it easier that way since your mom and dad are living there too? There are three of you guys as in people from the same family than me, your wife. 
I just think it makes more sense to have you as the main borrower, you know? Well, yeah, but I'm not sure if my credit score is good enough to get one. Oh, I'm sure that's fine. Yours isn't that bad. Besides, I heard that there are two types of mortgage loans that you can get. A conventional one and a government-backed one. If your credit score isn't high or say you don't have enough to pay for the down payment, then the government-backed one is the one you want to get. They're not as strict as the conventional ones where they want borrowers with a high credit score and make you pay more for the down payment too. Ah, really? Okay, I'll do it your way and put it under my name then. Yeah, I mean, I think it'll be easier for when you need other paperwork done related to the house. Less hassle, less stress, etc. Yeah. Okay, that's sorted then. Oh, and the divorce papers? I'll just take care of those since we don't need them anymore, yeah? Or do you still want them? No, no, we don't need them. You can get rid of them. Thanks. Okay, so I guess I'll see you when you come home then. What do you want for dinner? Hmm, good question. I'm in a good mood today. I think I want a few beers with my dinner. So whatever will go with the beer is fine. Okay, sounds great. See you in a bit then. Okay. Ah, so tired. I finally got round to sorting out the papers for the mortgage and whatnot. Took me years. Man. Oh, but that's great. You finally got it done? Yep, the mortgage is pre-approved and everything. Glad that's over. <laughs> Amazing. So what's next? Well, and now we have to go ahead with the home builders and get them to start building our new home. Woohoo! Yay! Let's get done with that tomorrow or later this week. I am so tired from all the paperwork tonight. Yeah, sure. Let's do that later. So glad that the most annoying part is over. <laughs> yeah, me too. FYI, the mortgage is at 6% fixed interest rate. Oh, that's a lot. I thought it would be less than 5%. Yeah, me too. But once we went over the calculations at the bank, it came to that. I'll show you the breakdown when I get home later. Okay... We're lucky we have your income though. If it were just me, I don't think that I would have signed the papers for a 6% interest rate on the house. <laughs> <laughs> My income? What do you mean? You know what I mean. Making the monthly payments with the interest rate. You paying for it is great. So thanks, babe. But I'm not paying for anything. Not a single dollar. What are you talking about? Huh? We're getting divorced, remember? What? Yeah, so sadly, you're gonna have to pay for the mortgage all on your own. What are you talking about? This isn't funny. What do you mean? Like I said, we're getting a divorce, right? Um, no. Honestly, what is this about? Well, remember when you served me those divorce papers before? Well, to be precise, they were documents called a summons and complaint form which basically tells me <laughs> the non-filing spouse that a divorce case has been filed. So all I did was fill out the answer forms to agree to go ahead with the divorce process. I only had a few days to submit it, so I'm glad I did it within the deadline. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second here. But I thought those documents were... They were just there to make you think I was serious about getting the divorce. I didn't mean to actually go through with it. Well, it's too late now. We've both officially signed the divorce papers, and I believe they're on the way to the family court now. Thanks so much for signing them. You're kidding, right? I thought you got rid of those papers I put in the kitchen table. You said so yourself. Oh, no, no, no. That's not what I said. I said that I'd take care of them, but I kept them anyway, just in case. <laughs> and it looks like it was a good idea to keep them now, wasn't it? Scroll up in this chat room if you don't believe me. What the? This is a sick joke. No, sorry, but this is no joke. This is for real. Hang on a second. Were you planning this all along? 
Were you? You knew I'd... You made me get the mortgage under my name. You knew you weren't gonna pay for the mortgage. You freaking cow. Mm-hmm. Look, are you being serious, honey? What happened here? Don't you love me anymore? No, I don't. I think that you and I have both made it clear that there's no love in this relationship anymore. That's not true, honey. I love you so much and you know I do, babe. Honey, you said that you didn't want a divorce. We talked about this before. I thought that things were good between us. I only made it good between us because I was waiting for you to get your mortgage application done. Now that it really is done, I guess there's no need for me to fake it anymore. I don't have to fake a smile for you or cook for you or do anything for you anymore. Oh, how amazing. This feels so good. What do you mean, baby? Oh, just don't do this to me, Claudia. No, you've been treating me so badly after the last year or so. I've tried to tolerate it. I've tried to fix things between us. But it's gotten to the point where I'm not only burned out, but I just don't see how things can go back to the way they were before. You've become so self-absorbed and condescending. I don't know how to deal with that side of you anymore. But baby, come on. I'm not really like that deep down and you know that. You know who I really am, right? I don't think I do anymore. You've really changed. I really don't know how to love you anymore. Come on, baby. Give me another chance to prove to you that I'm the love of your life. Oh, see? You never used to sound so big-headed and arrogant like that. I can't do this anymore. What's done is done now anyway. So you've been concocting this little plan of yours to get back at me at all along? Well, I wouldn't put it like that, but for a few weeks now, yes. I've been planning all this. How could I not? Someone needs to put you in your place, and who better than your ex-wife? What the... ex-wife? I still haven't agreed to the divorce yet. Well, you technically did sign those papers, so yes. I'm already your ex-wife if you ask me. Oh, man. You just never care about the way I feel or what I think anymore. Claudia, you can't do this to me. You can't. You better watch your back use backstabbing, witch. You freaking slut. You're not getting away with this. Wow. Listen to the change of tone you've got there. I really don't know who you are anymore. You cow. Oh, I think you might like to know something else. I've talked to a lawyer about splitting our assets. I'm making sure I get the best advice. Especially since I came into this marriage with more assets than you. What the hell? What the hell is that? You're taking half my stuff? Oh, the divorce settlement? Well, that's the basic idea, but it's not going to be half. Don't worry. You'll be left with something, I think. Read it up online. You can find loads of info there. Just Google premarital assets. What the friggin' hell, dude? Is this some sick twisted joke? Cut it out, Claudia. <laughs> Good luck with everything. Can you tell how happy I am now that you've got what you deserve? You're gonna pay for this, witch. I'm gonna make your life a living hell. Well then, I guess I'll just have to put up a restraining order then. I'll be protected legally that way, so good luck trying to fight that. On top of all the money you have to pay? I'm so done with you, Cedric. Karma is a witch, isn't it? Karma? What did I ever do to you? <laughs> You've been treating me like crap. That's enough for a divorce. But this isn't fair. Cedric and I are now officially divorced, and I'm the happiest I've ever been in my life. He tried to sue me for fraud, but to no avail. Luckily for me, according to the law, I did nothing wrong. Now that the divorce settlement came through, I have to say, life is pretty great. I can afford to live comfortably with my own income and have the settlement as savings. Apparently, Cedric is having a really tough time trying to pay the mortgage on the new duplex without my help. His parents are even chipping in with their pension to make it. Poor them. 
Apparently, they knew that I had no idea about him wanting a duplex, but decided not to intervene. If you ask me, they're to blame just as much as Cedric. Anyway, what do I care? I'm having the best time of my life being divorced. It was a stressful and draining experience though, so maybe I'll go on a vacation with my girlfriend somewhere nice. Maybe to Bora Bora or island hopping in the Caribbean. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. 